Alola friends, Dapper Drabby here, and today we are going to bring you another fun deck that we love to play, and that is going to be an expanded full retaliation Gyarados with that ancient trait double allowing him to have two Pokemon tools. But we're going to update it with this new Magikarp, the Submerge Magikarp with the beautiful artwork. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponent's. This is super helpful. It prevents your major weakness of, like, spread bench damage. Your Magikarps are not going to be damaged by that spread damage. Unfortunately, we only have three of the Submerge ones, so we are still playing one Flail. Magikarp. Uh, I just like this original artwork. It's like the first Magikarp they really put on the market. So it's like I always laugh at this. So that's why I chose this Magikarp over one of the other ones. Honestly, they have tons of Magikarp cards. They have the Splashing Dodge one that came out in Burning Shadows. This Flail one came out in Evolutions and is a remake from the old ones. You have the Epic Splash Golden Magikarp promos. The Epic Splash uh, from Generations, so that's even still legal. Um, Epic Splash from Ancient Origins. And uh, Flailing Flop from, no I believe it's Noble Victory Victories or something. But yeah, there's just so many Magikarps you can use in this deck. Soggy Rush, just Magikarps, and after Magikarps, after Magikarps. And uh, we're choosing Ancient Origin ones. It does a little bit better than this one. Uh, this one from Burning Shadows. This 50 damage for each Magikarp in your discard pile. Um, you can discard them with a, uh, a Battle Compressor. Uh, but then you're just stuck with... Um, you can only do... You max out at 150 damage. With the uh, Ancient Origin ones full of retaliation, you can do a little bit more than 150. Because it does 30 damage for each damage counter on a Magikarp. So it's just that has that little bit higher damage output. And the reason why we're playing it over the the new version, the uh, um, the Gyarados GX, is one, we don't have any Gyarados GXs. But two, it's just, it, it attacks with a double colorless. Uh, Draconic Disaster takes way too much energy to be able to set up and go after it. The 240 HP is amazing, but it's just not uh, possible for our Gyarados to pull that off. So let's go over the rest of the deck list. We are playing one Drapa GX for a secondary attacker. This is also new to the deck. We used to have to play uh, that line of either Mr. Mime or uh, we had to either play one Mr. Mime or a 1-1 one, one line of uh, Machop Machoke in order to prevent the bent spread damage from taking out our Magikarps. But now... Without needing those, we can play something like Drampa, which the Berserk attack can also activate off of a Magikarp. So as long as a Magikarp has damage on it, Berserk can hit for 150 damage. It's a good beginning attacker. Big Wheel GX, it gives us our main GX attack so we can get set up quicker as well and really put the pressure on quickly against our opponent. We're playing one Shaman just for draw support, just in case. We're trying not to play Shaman down because it does give up two prizes in this deck is very good at trading one prize to two prize uh, one Lele as well in case we get stuck uh, that wonder track ability is just to grab something like a Skyla or an N to reset our hand we have a lot of uh, recycle cards so if we get a lot of them in the beginning of the game we're gonna need to end them back into our deck so that we can um, pull them later on in the game we have played no Bridget's and then we play the 1-1 one, one Remoraid Octillery line abysmal hand is the main draw source of this deck. Gives you five cards every single. Uh, gives you up to five cards in your hand every single turn, unless you have more than that. Um, moving on to items, we play four dive balls because we play a lot of water types. You know, our main things we want to get out are the Magikarps and Octillery, so might as well have those four. A maxed out count of dive balls in order to pull your water type of Pokemon. Playing one escape rope in case we get something stuck in the act if we don't want to. Uh, it also works as like a soft Lysander in case, uh, just in case we get stuck. Uh, we are playing one field blower. Uh, sometimes I wish it was more, but I don't think it's necessary to really have more. The worst case scenario, your abilities get shut off. Um, 
which means that, like, literally the only thing that that's that's bad is if you if they have a Garboder and a Tapu Koko, and most decks are not going to run both because it's just they don't mesh they don't mesh together. But maybe they should, maybe they should. Uh, Puzzle of Time. We're playing four of these. It just works great to be able to pull two cards out of our discard pile and put them back into our hand. And this can be any card. This can be Magikarp. This can be Gyarados. In Lysander, Double Colorless, Magma Secret Base, all that jazz. Uh, and of course we're playing four. We're playing four Rescue Stretchers so we can shuffle out through our, um, our Gyaradoses. Uh, Rescue Stretcher is just a great, a great card that can help us either shuffle three cards back from our discard pile into our deck or pull one right out of the discard and put it in our hand and i mean it replaces buddy buddy rescue when that was in this list uh we got one special charge sometimes i wish two would work um but it's not necessary really uh in testing i've been fine with only one not even using the one usually um but it allows you to put two special energies back from your discard pile into your deck. And also the other reason, the other reason why one is because Puzzle Time can either pull out back energies or it can pull back a special charge and be able to get reuse that card. One town map because we need to know what's in our prizes so we can pull them out. If we have Magikarp, Gyarados is prized. We need them. If we have Remoraid prize, we only play one of them. We need them. So we need town map to be able to find our Pokemon and items that we need at any given time. Uh, three Chainer's Mails, just to fly through our deck a little faster. Four Ultra Balls, just because Ultra Ball is the best uh, uh, Pokemon Search card. You just got to discard two cards to get to it. Uh, I believe I'm playing four VS Seeker to pull back any of those supporters and reuse them. Uh, two Magma Secret Bays. Normally this is going to be a four count, but I ended up putting in two Skylas instead of the four count of the Secret Bays. And it's worked out pretty well for me. Because Sky, if you get, if you end up do, if you do end up getting the secret base, you go Skyla for something else. If you don't get the secret base, you go uh, Skyla for a secret base. Wow, sorry, I went through those quickly. Playing one Lysander to be able to take something off of our opponent's bench that they don't want to be knocked out. Uh, one N for general draw support. Uh, four Sycamore for general draw support. Two Skylas to be able to. Uh, you know, get exactly what card we need at any given time. Two teammates in case uh, Gyarados goes down. We can teammates and get exactly what we need to come back and hit hard that next turn, which is usually like a double colorless Gyarados or something to that effect. Uh, two choice bands, two float stones, and four double colorless. I think we are also playing two rainbow energy for Drampa. And then that is the deck list. I will uh, export it copy it to the clipboard and then it will be down in the description so let me know what you guys think of this uh updated gyarados list let me know if you guys know any changes that you would do um i know a simpler version of this is actually just to make it all the same kind of cards you know don't to stop uh having multiples but let's go ahead export that since that's the newer version and we will go ahead and take it to the versus ladder um, no, I didn't know I made changes. Oh, yes, I gotta resave it. So it's Gyarados, full Retalia 3. This is my third version of this Gyarados list. Um, and I like it a lot. So let's go ahead, go to the Versus Ladder, like I said. And we will check out Gyarados, full Retaliation. I'm actually kind of amazed this deck didn't pull off a win. I think it did might have pulled off one win last season. But I believe it's it's very well positioned to do well and expanded. I won the coin flip. Yes, I'll go first. Although attacking first is fun too. Yeah. Starting with a Remorade. That's better than a... Uh, actually, it's not better than a Shaman. But we do have a uh, dive ball, and we do have uh, other ways of getting stuff out. So we could probably let's go ahead and trainer's mail here for an ultra ball. Go ahead and dive ball. Um, unfortunately, I think we got to grab the the Magikarp first here. And 
and we will I guess ultra ball we're ultra ball for the shaman to try to get set up a little better do I want two cards back yeah so we'll go ahead and play these puzzles right away this is going to be a little strange, I think, but we can get the trainer's mail and the dive ball back. We got a VS Seeker. Use the dive ball to grab, I guess, another Magikarp. I don't want to put it down yet, though, because I don't have the base. Oops. Sorry, bumped out my thing real fast there. Go ahead and play the base. Um, and I think I want to keep the VS Seeker in the special chart, so we're going to go ahead and end here. We're giving our opponent one more card, but we're going to get set up a little bit better here. Oh, here's great. I can escape her. I can escape her next turn, though. Let's go ahead and dive ball for another Magikarp. <laughs> and I think I'll put the choice band there, but I don't expect it to stay. I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. So that we can go ahead and... Uh, in worst case scenario, our opponent ends us and puts our DC back into our deck. But we have a pretty good setup so far. We have two magic cards down, and we have two magic cards with damage down, and one without damage that we can evolve into a Gyarados. There's the Battle Compressor to get these Night March set up. Probably only going to use Joel Ticket first. They actually threw a Sycamore down there as well. So there's two Night Marchers down there now. So the attack does 40 damage. There's another one. There's that Dimension Valley to get rid of our base. Our super base. They are also playing puzzles. What's that mean? Are they playing two? Yeah, they're playing two to get a Battle Compressor and a Sycamore back. Very nice. I would say that end definitely helped them. That time was four of those. As long as I got a DCE, Remorade is gonzo. There's that. Setup from Shaman. DCE, there goes Remoraid, most likely. Nope, there goes the Shaman. That's fine with me. We'll go ahead and promote the Magikarp up. Uh, part of me wants to Skyla. Yeah, I'll Skyla. See if I have a dive ball left. I do. We'll dive ball to grab Gyarados. Now we'll dive ball for artillery here. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and throw those two down for a Gyarados now. Get the Gyarados out and Abysmal Hand for five cards. 
Get another Gyarados, another Dive Ball. We don't have any more um, Magikarps in the deck, though. We know this factually. Could bring up the Shaman to draw more, but it's not really necessary. Alright, let's take out the little Joltik here. And get a Magikarp, right? Nope, a puzzle of time. Here comes the Shaman. Float on the Shaman, okay. They're gonna Trainer's Mail. Try to get what? Nope, there goes the unknowns. Let me attack now! Alright, let's see how much damage did we do to that, uh... To that Joltik. It's not letting me see. Oh well. I can do the math. 30, 60, 120. There's a Marshadow. This is the Marshadow mixture, huh? Do they got the DCE? Oh, they got the Joltik. If they have the DC, I'm sure they're going to go into Joltik here. Via Seeker, Sycamore. So I need to get a double prize myself here to start evening things out. Well, Night March, my shadow just runs so quickly. Three hundred and twenty, which means it did one hundred and sixty damage. What's the choice here? I think we gotta throw up the Magikarp here. Go ahead and rescue Stretcher. Bring back probably all three, I think. Dive ball for the Magikarp. What's in our discard? We got a Skyla, Skyla and Lysander. Fortunately, we do not have teammates down here. That would be the ideal play. Because we need a DCE and a Magma Secret Base. I really just need a DCE, actually. So the question is how to get there the quickest way. How many things do we have in here? We have one in here. Okay, let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away those. I hate to put Shaman back down. But it really is the best way to find the DCE. And the Choice Band. Yep, best way. Grab the DCE. And the float stone. Put a float stone on this one. Retreat into Shaman. DCE. And uh, who are we going to put out front? I 
can't evolve that one. Sky return for the knockout. There's a Skyla, okay. Now I just need to take out the Shaman and the Marsh Shadow. Who is going to be... This one has no damage on it, so I guess we'll put that one out. Hopefully they can't pull off anything this next turn. But they probably will be able to. Yep, there's another Joltik. I'm going to have to knock out four Joltiks, it looks like. There's three of those. Yeah, they're going to have four Joltiks in this. Fighting Fury Boat on the Marsh Shadow. Trainer's going for another Fighting Fury Boat on the Joltik, I guess. I guess they didn't like that I was able to knock it out with Shaman. DC in the Marsh Shadow, so they're going big now. Escape rope. In that case, I will get rid of the artillery. It's been helpful, but uh, not necessary so far. 210. We're going to come swinging back at him, though. Ooh, fuel blower or secret base, which one? I'm gonna go with the secret base here. Don't really need anything, so I'm gonna Skyla for the town map. Lele and Carp are in there. I really don't want to put the base until I have the last carp. And I have access to teammates, okay. How much damage do I do? 30, 60, 120, 150. I need, I do need the field blower, dang it. No point to get rid of it doesn't get rid of anything. Drampa. Let's go ahead and full retaliation. Hundred and eighty damage. We were ten shy. We needed the uh, another choice band to try to finish it off there, but now we're it's good. We can oh they're just gonna take a prize. Okay, so we lost a night march simply because of that need to play that shaman down to try to find the choice band. That's interesting. I didn't expect them to go after that. Oh, I guess that works. So we did pretty well, but Night March is just too OP. So very good. That's the best way to play Marsh Shadow, though, by the way. But there we go. That's that's our Gyarados list. I'm sure it can play better. I probably made more than one mistake. Um, if you guys want to see that Night March list, here that is. You know, four Joltics, one Shaman. Lampins to discard. I don't know why they play Unknowns. Uh, Pumpkaboo's to discard. Um, really, they played one Marsh Shadow? That's a surprise. It's a little bit of a jumbled mess because I think they're playing highest rarity. But uh, there you guys go. If you guys want to.
pause and copy down that uh, my opponent's Night Marcher list. There you go. If you guys liked my Gyarados list, um, I will have that one down in the description where you can just copy paste it right into PTCGO and adjust it uh, to however you would see it played. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll finish it off here today. But thank you so much for coming out. Uh, leave a like or leave a comment if you guys like this Gyarados list. And uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys aloha, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.